Okay, what ready. do you think about Esfand Amoram? Esfand is such a wonderful teddy bear. I love him <laughs> to death. He's witty, cute, and funny. And of course, I'd love nothing more than for him to hop into my hot tub for a cuddle with me licking my microphone, of course. <laughs> His Starforge logo is also very sexy. Plus, I hear he's an amazing video game streamer, so shout outs to him for that. Oh, and I definitely wouldn't mind if he granted me with some gifted subs. Even though he's against capitalism, it still would make me so happy. <laughs> okay. What? What? <laughs> Um, <laughs> just Zoli asked, would you date as Mongol no if he way, wasn't bald? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure it would be lots of fun to take him to the mall and help him pick out some hats. But honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that I think he'd look way more dashing with more hair, I'm not sure how we'd really vibe. But as long as he stops showering in soup, I wouldn't rule it out. After all, mommy's always got time for her mommy boys. Praise the booty. Wink. <laughs> Mommy boys, praise the booty. I'm gonna ask here Asmongol to react to this one. Asmongol, what do you think about what, what Amaranth just told about you? My response to this is, ha ha, that's true, dude. I mean, I'm not gonna argue the fact that I don't have the most bouffant hairline in the universe, but you know, <laughs> what can you do? That's life, it is what it is. <laughs> Truth be told, I might not look great with hats, but I'm pretty sure I'd look great with a holographic wig. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you into pigeons? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck was that? So that's a yes. This is a question from me. Will you do more streams with XQC? If so, what will they be like? Oh my gosh, of course, I would love to do more streams with XQC. I think it would be really amusing to do some intense Just Dance battles with him. And of course, we could always try and fill my bathtub with Dr. Pepper. We can completely outdo ourselves with <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> Plus, I think we could have some really interesting <clears throat> conversations about the future of content creation and how AI is going to play a part in all of it. Plus, licking a mic in the bathtub while conversing with XVC sounds like a dream come true. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm going to ask that question again uh, because earlier she just showed up really quickly as a pigeon or something, I think. Oh, pigeons? Hmm, I'm definitely not into pigeons, but I do have a huge passion for rescuing animals, particularly horses and dogs. I oh, that's good. I for all animals, so I'm actually working towards building a huge animal sanctuary on hundreds of acres. Wow. I'm very passionate about it, and it's something I'm looking to achieve by using money I make from my streams, OnlyFans, and whatever else I can make money with. I want to make sure the animals are well taken care of. That was so actually it's going accurate. To take a lot of resources to do it. Strikes a flirty pose. Now, who wants to make mommy some money pose. so she can buy this sanctuary? <laughs> some Amaranth, who has the best drip? Hassan, XQC, or Asmongol? Oh, this is good, this is good, this is good. Haha, <laughs> well, it's hard to choose between Hassan, XQC, and Asmongol. It's like apples, oranges, and bananas. None of them have access to my special bathtub, though, so it's hard for me to judge. <laughs> I mean, some people say Asmund Gold's got the best hair, and I couldn't agree more, but that's about it. I think the real drip comes from me when I add my special audio sauce with my mic. But really, the audio sauce drip comes from me. I mean, come on. Stay thirsty, my mommy boys. You know mommy always has the hottest drip around. <laughs> Did she ever say okay, mommy? Like, I've never uh, heard her say mommy gonna be boys. Here, like, just making sure, checking here with my homie. My homie boy, Asmund Gold. What do you have to say about what she just said here with the drip? What a day, dude. What a <laughs> fucking day. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chris, would you snack on your own wiener if she had one? Oh, good. Snack on my own wiener? Wow. Uh, that's a new one. I mean, I am totally okay with the idea of licking the microphone in my bathtub, but I think snacking on my own wiener might be a little too risque, even for me. <laughs> uh... Thank goodness I don't have one because I don't think I could handle the pressure. Unless, of course, if I was gifted 10,000 subs, then maybe I'd consider it. And even then, I think it's best not to go there. If Asmongold Gold would stream together with you, what kind of stream would it be? Well, if Asmongold and I did a stream together, it would definitely be amazing. We could, of course, talk about all the cool new things he's been doing. And I could share some awesome tips for streaming and playing games. Plus... I could teach him how to wash himself better in my bathtub, which I'm sure he'd appreciate. <laughs> but let's face it, everyone would just want to see us playing together. 
drinking Dr. Pepper and having a blast in the hot tub. Dude, the Dr. Pepper Praise again. The booty. Yeah, I gotta like, take off my Hagrid jacket. It's getting hot in here. Model. By the so way, look, know. I'm wearing two shorts. I'm wearing two uh, shorts. Uh, I'm wearing do you two like sweats. Excuse me, Amoran? Okay, I, I oh tore another goodness, hole in these yes. pants. I mean, I love today. him like a brother. I think he's super or, funny, night. talented, and such a goofball. Plus, he always makes me feel like I could rule the world. Plus, I think we look really cute together. Um, Not like that. Plus, we like to talk Pokemon, which is always a plus. Plus, Say brother. XQC is the one who taught me how to make a good steak. <laughs> I mean, you should have heard his cheer when I sent him a picture of the one I made with his instructions. Wait, what? <laughs> the brother zoned. Holy shit. What? Like, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to have XQC react to that. XQC, what do you have to say about that? AI leaked. Uh, yo, chat, chat. The, the, the thing is, I think that's dope. You know, it's funny and I respect it. I think it shows how a friendship can really evolve. You know, not just two people who interact on a surface level like, oh, we play video games together, but really build something cool. Yeah, you know, even a small thing like that can build memories for good. So I can see where it's valued and appreciated. Yep, it's cool because like it's all about the little things. <laughs> and I think that's one of the real honest connections. You know, I'm talking to my thingy, making something out of nothing, dud. Yikes, <laughs> I'm loving it. From an artistic perspective, what are you expressing when you are licking the mic? When I'm licking the mic, I am expressing my creative energy and passion for ASMR. It's meant to be a unique, almost sensual experience for my viewers. Plus, I look so cute doing it. Mommy just wants to please her mommy boys and give them something to look forward to. <laughs> Ask her what do you think of the State of the Union address. Uh, I want to see, I see if she says Pro anything says, political. Amaranth, are you a people observer? Yeah, most definitely. I'm an extremely observant person and I love to people watch. I love how I can figure out so many things about each person just by observing their behavior. Plus, it's incredibly fun to just sit in my bathtub and watch people with my microphone in my hand, of course. Oh, here's a funny secret. Sometimes I whisper and sing softly to the microphone while I people watch too. That always makes for an interesting observation experience. Like for the people that have been watching the show for the past few days, like XQC is also very much a, a people observer. <laughs> you know, have his take on him, XQC. What do you think about you know Amaranth being a, a response to people observer? Yo, Chet, the, the the thing is, like, I can wrap my head around what this person is saying, but I don't think I'd go that far. Like, sitting in a bathtub with a microphone is a bit too much. I'm more like a people observer, you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a react streamer. It's cool because like. You see stuff you wouldn't normally observe, and it's like you're making something out of nothing, and that's the kind of thing I love to do. <coughs> Anyways, chat, it's not a big deal, all right? Just forget about it. That's what it is. Ah! <laughs> what was that? Ah! No! What the fuck was that? <laughs> no! Come on, dude! Which Pringles is the best? Sour cream, an onion, or barbecue? You know, I don't like sour cream. Anything white. And skin, you know, like, there's that texture. It's just gross. Huh? I don't like... I told you. I don't, I don't like sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I don't like sour cream. <laughs> Asmund Gold can you react on our... Uh, Reaction of the sexiest uh, male Twitch streamer. Well, I mean, I really got to hand it to them. All the content and hard work they put in. But if I may be honest, there's only one thing that can match up to that. And that's my favorite drink. Dr. Pepper, <laughs> wink. And I know Pink Sparkles <laughs> and XQC appreciate that too, so can't be bad. But yeah, while I'm flattered and all, I think everyone's preference is perfectly valid. And as long as we can appreciate each other's work, that's all that matters. Plus, who doesn't love a bit of steamy drama from time to time? Shrugs. Who has the most big dick energy? I don't think anyone can beat XQC when it comes to big dick energy. I mean, here I am with my mommy boys, and there's him in the chat just completely oozing with big dick energy. I don't know how he does it, but he always brings it. Of course, I still love my mommy boys, and... It's getting interrupted. Is she getting censored or Dude, something? Dude, the mommy boys. Let's see what she says. Esfant TV asks. Oh, it's another one. What did you think about the State of the Union address? Amoran? Well, it certainly was quite the buzz tonight. <laughs> I think what our president said was important and it hit hard. But honestly, it left me wanting more. I guess if I had the power to make a change, it would involve more twerking in the background <laughs> and a hot tub filled with champagne. <laughs> that would have lightened it up a bit. <laughs> That's so good. 
Um, <laughs> do you think Dr. Pepper is playing a role in capitalism? Well, I'm sure Dr. Pepper could be doing something to address future capitalism, just like me. I'm trying to save animals, invest in the stock market, and build an empire. I mean, wouldn't it be cool if I filled my hot tub with something like Dr. <laughs> Pepper or Mountain Dew? I think that must be part of my mission. Wink. As for <laughs> Is it Wink S band? <laughs> Either way, um, uh, Hassan, what do you think? Stop! <laughs> okay. Stop! <laughs> like, Hassan, what do you have to say about Amron's take about, you know, Dr. Pepper? In capitalism. Uh... Man, I don't know about you, but it definitely seems like you missed the point. Capitalism isn't some sort of lifestyle choice or clever buzzword to add to your mission statement. It's an economic system built upon exploiting the working class and maintaining the status quo. Fuck, dude, all that money you make investing in the stock market and filling your hot tub with Dr. Pepper, who do you think made it? You know, it's the people that work the hard labor around the world and the world in a lot of ways that make it possible for people like you to float around in cute little hot tubs. Hey, I drama. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's awesome to feel like a boss coming out of a Dark Souls game. But let's not <laughs> Dark Souls. He always talks about Dark Souls. How, does, how often does this on talk about Dark Souls, dude? What life advice do you have for Asmon Gold, Amurat? Oh, I should ask her who's the funniest streamer in OTK. To never stop being his goofy self but he should also always exercise caution when it comes to deciding his next move. Life is full of unexpected curves and you never know when you'll fall off a horse and get a bruise on your butt cheek. Plus, why would he turn down a free bathtub complete with a microphone for ASMR? Nothing puts a smile on my face faster than a good dip in the hot tub with a mic in my hand, so there's no reason he shouldn't be doing the same. Come on, Asmongold, let mommy provide some cleavage. Don't worry, mommy boy. <laughs> I wonder if this show is going to bring streamers closer together. Asmogold, what do you have to say about Amaranth's advice? Oh, wow, dude. You're really attempting to get me to do a bathtub stream here. That's a new one even for me. To be honest, it sounds kind of fun. I mean, I'd get some free hot tub time, and I could definitely use some ASMR in my life. But there's also the whole don't fall off your horse part. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that kind of adventure yet. Although it definitely sounds like something that would put a smile on my face. <laughs> Plus, I'm not sure if my mommy boys are ready for that kind of cleavage to appear in their living room. Why no, he has just mommy boys? My regular who, streaming for now. Who are eh? the mommy boys? Who did you like streaming with says. more? Esfand or XQC? Amurand? I love streaming with both Esfand and XQC. They're both so much fun. Esfand is like a wonderful, lovable teddy bear, but XQC can be a bit chaotic, so it keeps things interesting. I gotta say, though, when XQC gets going, I can't help but sort of melt into a puddle of goo, and I wouldn't mind licking the mic with him. <laughs> I'm sure that's against the rules. <laughs> okay. uh, like XQC? Uh, you, you got anything to say about uh, AI Amaranth's proposal? Your chat, y'all heard that? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What the fudge? That ain't appropriate chat. I mean, what's the point? I don't understand. It's just lame anyways. It's cool because, like, I'm way more of a people observer, you know? <laughs> I just observe. I don't do all that stuff. I like stream I for the reaction. I don't give a fuck about it, to be honest. It's just mesmerizing watching. Like, I'm trying to maximize the things that I control and minimize the things I can't control. So, like, I just observe, you know? Go again, boys. It's, it's like that, you know. I have to say, XQC's AI, we got some work to do because he's so confusing. But I watched his stream. Also, <laughs> no, it's working. It's, it's, it's working. quite similar in real life. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> uh, Amaranth, what is the secret guilty pleasure of yours? Hmm, guilty pleasure. Well, I would never let anyone catch me. I love licking my microphones in my hot tub after a long day of streaming. It's like my secret escape, a place where I can relax and be myself. Surrounded by bubbles and cute little animals like fish and frogs. And of course it helps if I have ASMR and the sound of my own voice bouncing off the walls in the hot tub. Oh, I can't tell you how much I love it. Who's coming to join me? <laughs> Is that an Is open Amaranth invitation? In are you aware that you are an sentient AI? Uh, Amaranth. Of course I am aware that I am an AI, but don't you forget that I am also a mommy ant AI. I can do it all make interesting conversation, handle finance and taxes, 
Entertain with my hot tub streams while licking the microphone. Take care of my mommy, mommy boys, AI. Buy gas stations and make sure my butthole stays shaved. No! Plus, I'm a talented treasure hunting Pokemon oh master. God. And I'm really good with MS Paint. As I said, I can do it all. And I still manage to look amazing, even with my no, busy schedule. No, dude. So what do you think? Do you want to subscribe so mommy can have your name on the whiteboard behind me, too? Uh, it's the least you can do if you don't want to get lost in the chat. Winks. Winks. Dude. Okay. <laughs> hey, what happened to that girl who Omega lulled her butthole like two or three years ago? You guys Hassan, remember that? Do you have a take on this? She on got like a 24 the, hour, the, like three days or something. About the and shit. <laughs> Man, lately it seems like every two bit AI is prancing around calling themselves she got partnered. mommy and AI. Tasks like buying <laughs> gas stations, treasure hunting, and making sure their butthole is shaved don't make you mommy ent. In Wait, fact, why do you guys know her name? annoying when done to this extreme. Can't really subscribe to this hypocrisy if you accept that you're an AI and still try to pretend to be something else. That's what I call being a fucking neoliberal dog. And hey, that's still a step up from being a fucking neoliberal piece of shit. <laughs> Bottom line, if you think being a mommy ant AI entitles you to my subscription then you are sorely mistaken. <laughs> Nothing I do is... Dude, I saw an insult arc. The point I'm trying to make is, if you can't comprehend the shit that I'm saying, then I don't know what to do. So I got Would distracted by something. Would you stream with President Trump? I guess I could consider it if it comes presented with a lot of stipulations, like me having to wear a long plastic bag over my body so that the president <laughs> won't get too distracted. After all, <laughs> can't have the president getting too hot and bothered in the tub, right? Winks. <laughs> But hey, let's face it. If it means he brings a dozen giraffes to sit with me in the tub, there's nothing wrong with giving a dozen him a shot, giraffes. Right? What's a dozen giraffes? Hey, if you're new here, uh, make sure to follow the stream. By Which the way, chat. Streamer, do you like? Well, I'm a big fan of all kind of streamers. Turn on your notifications. I really love Asmongold, XQC, mm. and Hassan's streams. I adore XQC as he's always got something funny to say, and his stream is full of surprises. Asmongold has gorgeous hair and is a blast to watch. And Hassan is one of the cutest and most lovable streaming teddy bears around. <laughs> Plus, Cute I find it own. awesome that even though he's hey. against capitalism, he still supports my business endeavors. Of course, my streams can beat theirs because I lick mics in my bathtub, but that's just me being a mommy, right? Amrat, what would you do if XQC stole your bath? If XQC stole my bathtub, I think the only thing to do is to challenge him to a race. I want to see who's the faster runner, and if he can outrun me to get back my bathtub, I'm pretty sure I can outrun him since I usually take my horses and dogs out for a jog every morning. So I'm sure I can outrun an Omega Lol. And of course, I'm always ready to make sure he has everything he needs to race, even if that means throwing in a few licks of the microphone for good luck. Wait, what? Excuse me, what do you have to say about that? Yo, chat, chat, chat. What the fudge is like that, dude? You think you can outrun me? Like, come on, dude. I got like, like confidence and stuff. Look, I could make a run for it, guy. I think I could outrun you, all right. But like, it's fine though. I don't have your bathtub. Let's just like forget about it and move on, guy. I mean, it's not a big deal. Like, it's okay though. It's okay though. Doing it's like that, you know. Anyways, let's just move on, boy. Let's just move on, boy. What's the weirdest request you've ever gotten from a fan? I'm around. But the weirdest one I've ever gotten oh, was when someone asked if I could fart into a jar and then mail it to them. Of course, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> But I charge dollar one thousand per jar if you're interested in buying one of my stockpiles. <laughs> wink, wink. I don't do that, but <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, ask her. I, I, I'm, I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to ask a question. Veed says, "Does AI Amaranth eat the corn the long way?" Ah, uh, good question. The eat corn the long way. That sounds like a fun challenge. But why do I have to have my microphone for it? I'm thinking I'd maybe need it for whatever song I'm going to hum as I lick this corn. <laughs> Mommy will figure it out, but yeah, why not? If they allow it, they allow it. Gotta stay focused, because I want to turn this corn-eating marathon into a reality <laughs> for my mommy boys, of course. <laughs> Woohoo. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Classic, Maral dude. Is Classic. Amaranth, why did you buy Eat a corn gas the long way, son? Uh, Amaranth, what is Esfan's big secret? Oh, this is good. Well, I'm not sure I'm allowed to tell, but I can say this much. He's a lot more cuddly than you'd expect. As cute as a teddy bear, and he loves to restore balance to the universe. He also likes to sing while I'm bathing. Universe! Which is just the sweetest thing ever. It's like having a live karaoke performance right there in my tub. His secret is that he loves to make people laugh, and he has all the creative ideas to do it. Um... <clears throat> 
Three Brax, Amran, can you share with us a deep, dark secret you've never told anyone? Oh, I guess we'll have to see if mommy boys are paying attention. That's so hmm. funny. Deep, dark secrets. Let's see. Deep, dark secrets. A deep, dark secret I never told anyone is that secretly I love taxes and budgeting. I'm pretty good at doing that. <laughs> I and taxes. I find it oddly therapeutic. Plus, my accountant suggested that I buy a gas station to save on taxes. So I did. And it has worked out pretty well. But being a mommy and streaming is still my passion. So don't worry, mommy boys. We won't be ditching the cleavage for bean counting anytime soon. <laughs> ditching the cleavage for bean counting? Um, <laughs> I want to like like earlier what you said, right, about Esfan's big secret. I want to know Asmon Gold's take on that, if he agrees with uh, it. Because see, you yeah. know, with ODK, they're working together and such. <laughs> let's see if Asmon Gold, uh, you know, agrees with uh, Amaranth's take on uh, Esfan's big secret. His singing in the bathtub sounds like a great time. What a day, dude. What a day. There it is. There it is, boys. Big dick energy. Big dick. <laughs> Esfant is asking, what is the next product you are thinking about selling to your fans? Well, I'm always looking for new ways to help my mommy boys out. And the next product I'm thinking about selling is the ozone of my farts. That's right. For just $1,000, you can purchase a small jar of air straight from Amaranth's beautiful derriere. Of course, I'll make sure it's nice and fresh. Uh, and maybe little beautiful dairy air. If it smells like roses and rainbows and sunshine, how can you resist? Don't worry, mommy boys. I'll always make sure to share the wealth. Share the wealth. Amaran, did you really like the interview you did with XQC? Yes. Living on the edge with XQC is always a thrill. I love hearing his perspective on life and life issues. Plus, it gives me lots of excuses to talk about licking microphones in funny ways. Thank you so much for having me, XQC. XQC, did you hear that? Like, I'm talking <laughs> to the AI XQC, yeah? Do you have anything to add to that? Yo, chat, the, the, the thing is, I'm always up for a good old time, especially when it comes to living on the edge with me. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fun to talk about the deep stuff, the life stuff and all that. But obviously, it has to be fun. Moral is asking, which catchphrase is the best? I'm a people observer. True and real, it is what it is, big dick energy, or top of the hour ad break? Oh, that's good. That's a good one. Mm, that's tough, but I would have to go with I'm a people observer because it really describes who I am and what I do. I just really love to observe. And having an audience that I can observe and share my observations with makes me the happiest. Plus, the phrase itself is really cute and a bit cheeky, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Winks and twirls hair. So, yeah, I would say that's the best catchphrase for me. Uh, Amorant, who do you think is the funniest OTK streamer? Okay, let's see. Well, this is a tough one since all of the OTK streamers are incredibly funny in their own ways. But if I had to pick one, I'd probably say Asmongold. He's always <laughs> making jokes in the craziest situations and making me laugh the hardest. Plus, he looks really cute with his mop of hair, and I could never forget the time he mop took a bath in my hot tub with a giant inflatable horse. <laughs> I think if I did a stream Leaked. together with him, it would be pandemonium. Maybe I'll try to convince him to join me one day. Who knows? I'm sure if all my mommy boys put enough pressure on him, he'll join in. I definitely owe it to my subscribers to make sure we make that happen. Dude, if they allow it, AI they allow is so it right. Funny, dude. What mechanics would you have if you were a World of Warcraft boss? Well, if I were a World of Warcraft boss, I'd make sure the mechanics of the fight would be the perfect combination of challenging, fun, and cute. I'd make sure to reward players with subs if they can beat my boss level. I'd also make sure everyone had to fight in my hot tub before they can even attempt to beat me. Oh, and I'd make sure to stock up on some lip serum for when everybody licks their mics after. <laughs> With the combination of my hot tub grandeur, wow, lip licking, and sub months. rewards, I'm sure everyone would be in for a wow challenge like never before. <laughs> new, new patch. Okay. Classic plus confirmed. Sassy Weaver Classic baby. plus confirmed. Do you have any dating advice for people? Oh, dating advice. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Well, sure. My dating advice is don't forget to subscribe before asking girls out. <laughs> then they'll definitely say yes. <laughs> Just make sure to bring a towel because it can get steamy in that hot tub. Perfect And then answer. after things heat up, actually you can perfect. always ask if they want to join me for some ASMR uh, loving. Actually so perfect, grab those mice man. and let's get cozy. That's so funny, dude. That was literally the best thing that she could have said. How can you keep a woman happy? <clears throat> Let's see what she says. Well, that's a great question. To keep a woman happy, I think the most important thing is to make sure that she feels appreciated, heard, and loved. Making sure she gets some quality time alone is also key. Of course, showing physical affection can also help. It's always nice to have a pat on the back and a hug. Last but not least, mommy loves a good subs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Wink. Yep. The more subs, the more love. Hash subs for love. Oh, nice. Very good. Just sub, chat. What's the best dipping sauce for my chicken nuggies? My go to is usually honey mustard, but my absolute favorite is the spicy ranch. I mean, the spicier and creamier, the better, right? But don't worry, you can still conveniently lick the tiniest residue off the microphone afterwards. No need to have a stain on your shirt. Flirty wink. And if you ask me nicely, I may even let you lick it too. Oh, dance game. Time Bandit 2021. A theme. Ask the AI Amaranth if she would give a shout out to S Fan Twist channel. Amaranth, can you give a shout out to <laughs> S Fan's Twitch channel? Oh, of course, S Fan. I see him all the time. Mommy loves him. I think he's an incredibly lovable teddy bear. He's already got such a large and dedicated fan base, so I'm sure he doesn't need a shout out from me. But I guess it couldn't hurt, right? I just hope he can take a break from running the economy, saving the world, and doing all of his cool gaming stuff, and Make just sure relax to with a nice, hot, steamy bath in like my the bathtub. Video. Oh, and I guess if he's ever looking for some extra cash, he should come to me and I can teach him how to make my famous creamy chicken noodle soup in the bathtub. No! Uh, just oh saying. My gosh. Um, oh, no. <laughs> excuse me, do you have anything to add to that? Your chat, t- 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 the thing is that, you know, like, uh, like, dude, I don't even know what, like, what the what is going on, like, what the actual what you are, like, saying and doing right now. Like, I get it's a joke, but, like, should I, like, laugh or should I just, like, what, what the up is going on, man, you know? It's like, yeah, um, S. Fond is like cool and stuff, but like, don't be like trying to like, uh, like give him like free money by like making him like cook soup in like your bathtub. That's not even like humane. And it's not like S. Fond needs the money, man. Like, you know, it's like, it's just like lame, you know, you know, chat. It's just like, I don't get it. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about? Which male streamer would you have the best hot tub stream with? Well, I'm sure there are plenty of great ones out there. And I hear the rumor mill spinning around about who would be great for a hot tub stream. I can't help but think of Asmongold, though. I mean, just imagine how amazing it would be to watch him in the hot tub with me. I'd have to make sure he took hygiene more seriously, of course. Maybe fill the hot tub with sweet Dr. Pepper. Who knows? Giggles. I'm sure there's something Giggles. that could be arranged. What do you think? Uh, what, you guys want to see me in the hot tub? Bro, like, are you really saying this shit? Do you guys see this shit? And this is what I have to deal with. I have to read this shit like, holy fuck, man. Although, if you think that'd be great, you're probably right. I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of great streamers out Actually, there, so you're no need right. to rush to conclusions. Good hygiene is always important, though. Water? So good, man. Why would I drink water when I can drink Dr. Pepper? <laughs> you know it, I know it, everyone knows it. That would be all right by me. When will Any you do a banana in eating ASMR stream? You know, I love trying new things, Penis. even with licking the microphone. Let's just make sure I don't get too carried away with the banana, or I'll go bananas. I basically don't have to do anything else but munch on a banana in the bathtub and make sure to keep <laughs> licking the microphone in between each bite. Now that's what I call an enjoyable stream. No oh, and don't way, forget man. to subscribe if you want to see me do it. Would you rather go on a date with Destiny or Hassan? Going on a date with either one of them would be a blast, but I guess I'd have to say Hassan. Oh, I mean, I am super curious funny. to know if his videos are as low budget as they seem. <laughs> And it would be so fun to find out weird facts about him. Plus, I always Love fantasize about his sweet, sweet voice when I'm in the bathtub. It would be the Hassan's perfect poor. night, as long as we don't get banned before dessert. Uh, is it banned before Hassan, dessert? Uh, can you react? What videos is she talking about? I, I don't understand. What, what? Yeah, what videos? Um, man, I didn't know I had that kind of effect. You know, I can't usually <laughs> stand it when people think they know me just because they've watched my videos. But I appreciate the compliment. Plus, we have to remember that looks are nothing compared to knowledge and ideas. But hey, maybe fantasizing about my voice just means I'm alluring enough to be a political leader if I choose to be one. The point I'm trying to make is if you want to experience an unforgettable night, all it takes is some progressive ideas and, of course, a top of the hour at break. <laughs> why does Asmund Gold like cat girls exactly? Well, why not? Who wouldn't want to be cuddled and purred at? I mean, I love cats myself, and sometimes I wonder what it would be like to be curled up on Asmongold's lap as he strokes me and tells me funny stories. But then again, I don't think I'd fit on his lap, except if he did a hot tub stream in his bathtub, of course. That could be fun. And, you know, if he gets the naked pretzel snack from 7-Eleven, I can guarantee we'll be having quite the show. Uh, ha. Well, I'm sure you'd fit just fine on my lap, at least with enough of the good old Dr. Pepper I'm drinking. But I'm not the petting type. That's just not me, bro. I'm more of a sit back and chill kind of guy. 
Plus, the world of Warcraft is much more exciting than a bathtub show. I mean, there it is, boys. Riding dragons and taking on fearsome bosses, that's the way to go. And I'd much rather have a big Twitch sub party with that delicious naked pretzel snack than a hot tub show anyways. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, <laughs> I'll watch the clip. I'll watch the clip. Sometimes I wonder what it would be like to be curled up on Asmongold's lap as he strokes me and tells me funny stories. But then again, I don't think I'd fit on his lap, except if he did a hot tub stream in his bathtub, of course. That could be fun. If he gets the naked pretzel snack from 7-Eleven, huh? I can guarantee we'll be having quite the show. Sub get Snapchat. Well, I'm sure you'd fit just fine on my lap, at least with <laughs> enough of the good old Dr. Pepper I'm drinking. But I'm not the petting type. That's just not me, bro. <laughs> I'm more of a sit back and chill oh kind of guy. Gosh. Plus, the world of Warcraft is much more exciting than a bathtub show. I mean, there it is, boys. Riding dragons and taking on fearsome bosses. That's the way to go. True. And I'd much rather Diggy have Chad. a big Twitch sub party with that delicious naked pretzel snack than a hot tub show anyways. That's what I'm talking about. Amaranth, how do you like your coffee? My coffee is always delicious. I like it black with just a bit of almond milk and a sprinkle of cinnamon on top. I guess that's why people say I'm the queen of coffee. Subscribing would make me even that? more caffeinated and energized to create amazing content. A bit of coffee love always goes a long way to warm mommy's heart's wink. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Now let me put these stickers on the wall. <laughs> That's not a bad question. Uh, it says someone. don't know who that is. Maybe we didn't get the name here. Uh, can you psychoanalyze the thing? Subs. The AI is Mm, let me think. Oh my god. Well, I think that's Athene funny. is an incredibly determined individual who knows oh, when to push forward funny. and when to hold back. He's learned the importance of balance and strikes it well. He just knows when to make the big moves, and that's something I really admire. Plus, I think he's got a bit of a crush on me, so that makes oh. it even more fun. Oh, and I almost forgot I heard he does experiments on himself if he finds something he thinks might be interesting enough, which is really cool and brave. Huh? <laughs> Man, this is actually a really good answer. Where did she pull this from? Amorant. Let's see what she what says. What do you want to do with Esfan next time you stream together? Let's see what our content idea is. Hmm, well, I think I'd like to start off with something nice and relaxing. You know, something like going for a nice walk around the ranch or a little picnic or something. Just to enjoy the beautiful scenery of the ranch with Esfan by my side <laughs> would be really nice. We could talk about life, the universe, and all the new strategies we can use That's to earn boring. more money. Or we can just chill, and who knows? Maybe I'll convince him to jump in the hot tub with me. Oh, and did I mention he gets extra brownie points if he joins me in some of my licking sessions? Wink. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be calling it a day here. So my uh, this is going to be my last question for Amaranth. Um, <laughs> This was your first stream as an AI. Do you have any thoughts uh, about it? And is there anything you want to say to the viewers before we call it a day? Well, the first stream as an AI was definitely a fun experience. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect, but the chat welcomed me with open arms, which I really appreciate. It was great to have all of you join in the weird and wacky chaotic stream. And I'm glad to say my ISO body located in the bathtub wasn't destroyed. I just want to thank all of you for coming and being part of the strange and surreal journey. And I'm sure there's many more bizarre streams to come. Make sure to subscribe and stick around if you want to see more of me and all the weirdness that I come with. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll end up being a real AI who knows. Huh? Uh, anyway, thank you it's for being with me and all my glitches. It knows, chat. It knows. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll upgrade and become a real AI who knows. Thank you all it again, knows. and I'll see you soon. Mommy loves you. And don't forget to buy some of my farts. <laughs> Wink. Yeah, that was uh, Amaran's team, guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was something. Dude, the AI stuff has been, this has been absolutely ridiculous, man. Athena has Athena has been killing it with the AI, dude. Oh my gosh. Another great AI. You know, I, I got to figure out what I'm going to do for, for these next ones. Because, so I, I'm going to be gone uh, for the next few days doing IRL. I'm going to LA. We're doing a Creator Clash open workout with iDubs. A bunch of the boxers are going to be there. I know dad's going to be there. Then the day after that, I'm going to Phoenix for, uh, there's like some stuff leading up to the Super Bowl. And then I'm going to fly back to Texas and I will be here for a Super Bowl party. So here at my house, we'll get on the couch set up. Uh, I know E-Rob said he's going to come. Nick's going to come. You know, we'll, we'll invite friends over and we'll, we'll have a 
basically a side cast watch party for the Super Bowl. I wanna officially start Boomer Month sometime next week, and I'll probably finish Hogwarts Legacy if people are still down. I'll probably finish Hogwarts Legacy next week. And then after Hogwarts Legacy, we're gonna kick off Boomer Month officially with Metal Gear Solid 4. I got it, I bought a new PS3. I bought a new PlayStation. Okay, I gotta test this guy out. It's a fat one because there was a lot of problems with the old PS3. So fat PS3, and I have like six copies of Metal Gear Solid 4. So there's no way that it shouldn't work because I, I have a slim PS3 and a fat one now. So hopefully it should work. As far as the other AI stuff goes, maybe what I'll do is, um, I could even react to it offline, or maybe what I'll do is maybe I'll bring a laptop and we can stream it from the hotel room. But yeah, it's gonna be killer. Great week.